some sectors that I see blockchain revolutionizing and um, definitely succeeding in are, for one, the main one, which I think should already be implemented, is elections, voting. Why are we allowing voting to be manipulated? Why are we allowing elections to be hacked? If we say we are a democratic society, then we should have the blockchain keeping our records of votes where it cannot be hacked, it cannot be manipulated, and it is fully transparent for the world to see on a public ledger exactly who voted for who. And if somebody voted and it's saying they voted for somebody else, this could not happen on the blockchain. The blockchain has to do what it's told to do. That is the beauty of it. With smart contracts, there is no room for error. Number two, I would say, would be financial, the financial sector, banking, investments, and even payments. Payments are going to be more common, micropayments, where you get paid to do small things. For instance, you could be paid to write your consensus. Why are we filling out a consensus and not getting paid for? When this consensus generates a lot of revenue for the people creating it, data is valuable. Why are we donating blood and not getting paid for? Or people that collect blood could be profiting and are profiting immensely off of your donations. I do not agree with a lot of the things we do that are not, we are not incentivized to do. So I think everything from social media to recycling, you could be benefiting and earning from with the blockchain. So the financial sector is going to look totally different in 10 years from now. The people that are running the banking systems and a lot of the financial sector will not be running it in five, 10 years. It's our turn now to take over a lot of these industries and be a successful and financially uh, abundant and powerful as these people with the world's best interests not in mind were, now the people that have the world's best interests in mind will be uh, given the same amount of power and the power will be re redistributed. So number three that I think blockchain and cryptocurrencies could revolutionize is the energy sector. There are companies like WePower coming out and promising this, where you can buy tokens, and these tokens are filled up with green energy. And you can literally spend those tokens, you can input your, your hydrometer number, and you can spend those tokens directly into your energy, you can be using up tokens instead of your money for energy purposes. There are other companies doing the same thing. And this is very powerful because it means that anybody could buy a solar panel or a windmill and contribute to the energy circuit and they could be profiting off of generating energy, or you can buy directly from a peer, this is peer-to-peer, -peer, like most of these blockchain things will be, where you are dealing directly with another person and buying off of them with no middleman and nobody trying to tell you what price you have to buy or sell at. Number four. The fourth sector that I think the blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer distribution 
will disrupt will be insurance. This is one that I saw a year, two years ago when I saw the the very few Bitcoin companies that were um, were established. I thought the best thing to do now would be to create an insurance-based Bitcoin business. And you can insure things from cars to homes to companies, um, all the way to cryptocurrencies themselves. Did you know that your cryptocurrency, when you put it on a marketplace, it's not insured? So if it's hacked or the marketplace itself steals it, you have no insurance to pay that back. So Bitcoin or blockchain insurance would have a great, tremendous need and use um, today. Number five, I would say would be real estate. Real estate is already being built on the blockchain. There are numerous companies and ICOs right now for people that promise to integrate the blockchain into uh, real estate. When this happens, you can see things like uh, anybody being able to buy a token that um, holds value of a property. So you buy up so many tokens and uh, every token will represent a percentage of the property and real estate accrued, um, acquired by the company. And by buying the token, you are investing in real estate that will later go up in value, making your tokens go up in value. It could be also where you buy and sell houses in cryptocurrencies, which is happening right now. There are real estate agencies that only deal in Bitcoin properties, and they will only sell your house for you if you're selling it in Bitcoin. Number six, I would say, would be agriculture. You could buy a token that represents land that food is grown on, and every harvest and every year, this token will go up in value because they have profited um, off that piece of land even more every year. And the profits are redistributed to everybody who holds tokens. And finally, the last but not least, number seven would be education. Education can be built on the blockchain because it helps keep a record of grades. It helps to um, distribute certain course material and lessons. If you notice right now, every teacher is teaching a different course in a different way, has a different way of teaching. What if we got the best teachers in the world to teach the course, and then we recorded the course, and maybe uh, integrated virtual reality or, or um, augmented reality, and we let kids put on virtual reality headsets and let the teacher be there in front of them. We could have all of our kids learning the same curriculum rather than um, it all being up to fate and it all being up to luck whether you get a good teacher or not. You could also keep teachers accountable through with the blockchain about how many hours they log, which brings us to number eight, which is jobs and the workforce. There's already companies like BitJob and numerous other ones that um, will put the workforce on the blockchain. So you can be at home and you can accept a micro job. So say a certain code needs written for a certain uh, company that's starting up. So say I wanted to create a uh, cryptocurrency, but I don't know how to write code. I could post a job on BitJob and pay somebody in cryptocurrency 
to, to uh, fulfill this job or to, uh, to work on this project for me. And it can be something tiny. It can be something as small as writing a part of the code or a line in the code. And then you pay multiple people around the world to write this code, and they're all writing a different part. Um, all jobs can eventually be on the blockchain, and it, it eliminates all these different uh, companies that meet up people looking for jobs with people that are looking for employees. So right now, to find a job, you have to know about these websites, and there's hundreds of them. And you are missing out on jobs if you don't go on certain websites. But with the blockchain uh, distributing all this information, we could go on one platform and seek out any work in the whole world, and it could all be in one database. And you could also be paid in cryptocurrencies. The next one, number nine, would be identity. There's identity theft that's running rampant in the world right now. A percentage, a high percentage, like 20% of all credit card transactions in some countries are fraudulent. So to keep a record of people's identity where we wouldn't even need passports or ID, we just have a fingerprint or uh, you can test someone's iris to find their identity or facial recognition and their identity is held on the blockchain, it can't be tampered with, nobody can steal identities, and nobody can fake being somebody else, pretend to be somebody else. And nobody can spend somebody else's money because it's directly attached to their identity on the blockchain. Number 10 would be artificial intelligence. Right now there are tons of companies that are mixing our film visual intelligence with the blockchain. For one, one big use of this I can see is market trading, margin trading. You can get artificial intelligence to, to see the patterns and then to predict what future um, charts will look like and future prices because humans are way too emotional. Humans do not pick up certain things, and humans, humans forget. Humans make mistakes. Another uh, way you could use artificial intelligence in the blockchain could be, again, with the education sector. You could teach kids through artificial intelligence and have a teacher being artificial intelligence instead of a real person. And number 11 is government. Why do we have a person, a human, running countries? Humans are flawed. Humans get corrupt. Humans have emotions. Humans have bad days. So, I see in the future computers running the government. Why do we not have an artificial intelligence computer built on the blockchain, running the government, and holding every single action accountable to the people that help elect the government. Right now, there's way too much secrecy, not enough transparency, and way too much corruption in the world. And the blockchain will free us from that. It will take the power from right out from underneath their feet, and it will redistribute it to us. It is our turn now to run these sectors. So get up, get out there, and get creating. Start developing some sector, some area of the blockchain, whether it's social media, which we already have social media uh, being disrupted on the blockchain through companies like Nexus and Social, or Steamit.com, and it's Steam Back Dollar and Steam, which uh, bloggers get paid to blog with. So that would be number 12, social media. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is too big to uh, ignore, and I had to do a video about it. When I see something, I'm going to share it with you.
So thanks a lot. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell below. We always do contests. You can earn free cryptocurrencies for following us on YouTube. So please stay brilliant and have a nice day. Thank you.